What's going on YouTube? Will Wallet, hanging out. We're having fun. We're up here at Mad Vapes, Shelby, North Carolina. And uh, I wanted to make a YouTube video today to talk about one of our newest premium e-liquid lines. We've got, let me see if I get all three of them at once here. Here we go, here we go. Ah, uh, Appalachian Steam. Yes. Three distinct flavors, all very handcrafted. Um, got some really interesting extracts they use in these, and, and they're all kind of Appalachian based. You know, we're all here in the mountain range, and, and we've all grown up, you know, at the foothills or in the Appalachian Mountains. So this is all stuff that should be very familiar to us. First off, we've got this guy. Appalachian Steam's Blowing Rock Candy. And this is like a cotton candy with strawberry pop rocks. Um, it's a very sweet liquid, very candy, you know, definitely has, has a, a cotton candy base, so you can definitely get that. And the strawberry and the, the candy pop rocks shines through nicely. Um, these guys are made in North Carolina, over there in Mooresville, North Carolina. And, and the flavor combinations are a little out there. Strawberry pop rocks with cotton candy little bit different they actually had a man over in Germany custom makes these extracts for these guys so you will never ever find another liquid just exactly like it because he's the only one that gets those extracts the next one we have is is my probably second favorite and this is not your mother's apple pie this is an apple pie with a nice bourbon kick to it now we all know long haul they do bourbon right this one's pretty good too it's not too shabby the cinnamon is, you know, kind of dulled, which I appreciate. You know, I think cinnamon can take over a little a little sometimes. But Not Your Mother's Apple Pie is a good sweet apple pie. Not too much cinnamon, not too much bourbon, and it's good. Then we have this guy. This is my personal favorite. This is the Huckleberry Trail Mix from Appalachian Steam. This is easily the most complex and most layered liquid I've ever tried, and it's the most well executed I guess is the best way to put it the layers they, they coincide together that's actually what I'm running in here so don't mind me if I have a vape you get that nice kind of sunflower seed cashew peanut kind of base a little bit of raisin a little bit of chocolate it, it's all there and you know the, the sunflower seed kind of dominates for me which I don't mind because I enjoy the sunflower seed but it is absolutely amazing out of the old squonk box if you guys don't know what squonking is do yourself a favor get you a drip box 160 because it's great man everything was placed so well together you know you get that raisin without it being too raisiny you get chocolate without the chocolate overbearing you get that nice kind of nutty base without it being peanut butter you know it's very very well executed Definitely highly recommend this guy here. Appalachian Steam is a, a line that's that's kind of near and dear to me. You know, we all grew up here in the South, and these are all flavors that I think reflect our, our Southern heritage. So I highly recommend checking these guys out. It comes in a nice big 60 milliliter bottle for $24.99. So it is a more affordable, you know, bulk purchase. Everybody likes the 60 mils. And uh, let me tear the top off of this guy here, which on this Quad Flex Survival Kit, Sometimes it's a little tough to get that guy off. But I haven't changed these wicks for a couple days. Two days to be exact. And it still looks good. You know, the other trail mixes I have can be a bit of a coil killer. These not so much. You know? It's not doesn't have that black nasty tartan look to it. It, it runs well. You know, it's a it's a great all around liquid. And it is definitely an all day vape. And it is new here in Shelby, North Carolina, so come by, try it out, pick yourself up a bottle. Man, it's tasty. But now that we've talked about Appalachian Steam, I want to talk about these FDA regulations and what the FDA is doing and, and what's going on with that. You know, I'm trying to sneak it in there. Not, you know, we don't get a lot of views on our old FDA regulation videos, so I wanted to sneak it into this one. Um, the FDA has been pushing back some some deadlines which is good especially for the the industry as a whole you know it, it's pushing back that that small amount manufacturing deadline till 2018 which i think is a good thing and then they're starting to realize that 
these were you know deeming regulations they, they they were damning regulations is what they were doing they were trying to regulate our, our industry out of business and, and they realized they can't do that and so they're starting to get a handle that you know as vapors we're not going away anytime soon and in the industry leaders are willing to cooperate and pay any fines associated with whatever they're wanting to do you know not necessarily fines we, we don't want to you know break the, the the regulation and have to pay a fine but we want to conform to the regulation and there are a lot of fees involved in that and we're not scared to step up as an industry and take care of it and do this the right way because we all love debate so good news on the fda front let's keep it rolling you know keep keep doing what you're doing always check in with your local representatives and say hey listen I like to vape and I know a lot of people that, that run a vape shop or work at a vape shop and you know I know these people that have created jobs and stimulated the local economy through vaping what are you going to do to protect it you know and then that, that's really what we've done as an industry that's, that's led us to this point so let's not let up now you know it's a small small victory but let's just keep moving forward man huckleberry trail mix it's a thing Guys, please come by, check out the new Appalachian Steam, call your local representatives, write them a letter, handwrite it, don't type it, don't be lazy. Let's handwrite some letters and, and let these guys know that we're not going away peacefully. Please be safe. Please be safe out there. The world's a, a crazy place, so let's be safe. Always stay blessed, guys, and I wholeheartedly mean that. And as always, let's keep it cloudy. Man, that trail mix is good. Come see us.